Okay, so today we're gonna tag our bison calves and get them ready for the show and sale. They've been separated for a few days now. They're still a little bit rambunctious in here, but we're just gonna get this all set up to get this big job done. Chad's just clearing some snow and making a path because we're gonna back a horse trailer up in here, or a livestock trailer up in here to load the calves and we're gonna haul them down to our other quarter to run them through the other chute that has a better head gate on it. Look who came to help today, it's Rebecca! Now you're gonna witness us move a whole lot of panels. Found a piece of bison fiber from the other day. We've got some spectators today. Hey, Colonel. Colonel, my little bull calf. He's so cute. He's Jersey Holstein. Hello. Yes. Oh, look at that nose. Look at that nose. Ah! <laughs> look at me. Everything we do here is teamwork. We're pretty happy to have a good crew coming today. You get her? Yeah, just grab that camera and get full. Bye bye, Chad. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put the slider on this and then we're going to load up some cash. I'll walk you through this process. Rebecca's just holding the, the panel down there. So they're gonna come through here. Go through that little alleyway onto the truck. The slider on the end. There's the babies. And come through this gate here. Into this pen. Out of here. So that we're gonna open it up down there where there's that straight alleyway through. There's two sliders on there. We're gonna just try to run them right through these two gates. Get them in here, turn them around the corner and onto the trailer. So we'll see how it goes. In between these few clips, we got the slider on and then we just ran down to the south quarter to un saw, well to saw a couple gates and we had to use the torch and stuff like that and plow some snow and get it ready to get the trailer in there. Cause we live in northern Alberta and there is a lot of snow. There goes the cross river herd. So we're gonna bring our animals down into the handling system here to put all of their tags in. Right guys? Yep. Yeah! Oh, it's really zoomed in on your faces. <laughs> Auntie Beck's got in the gate. Auntie Beck T. Her name's not Auntie Becky, it's Auntie Beck. We have this gate, run to the house and make some food. So yeah! The people that are coming to help us. And then uh, we're gonna load the calves and get that done. But I don't have food in yet, so I have to get that done. So. That is where we're going. Oh, Auntie Beck, service with a smile. <laughs> Trailer is here and we are gonna get these calves loaded. Our buddy Neil is just here. He's gonna back up his rig into here. Hey. 
Supplies are loaded. Neil's behind us in the truck and trailer. We're gonna go put them through. Yep. Convoy! Sponsored by Goldfish. Sponsored by Goldfish. <laughs> there goes the convoy. Oh yeah, I guess we have to go through the gate, eh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a girl. There's Annie Beck. Annie Beck the girl, hi! Annie Beck the gate girl! Okay, so Neil is just getting back up to the handling system and we are cruising in there. And we set stuff up on the other side. Bye, Neil. And there's his friend Rachel. So we're just cruising on this side and we're gonna go and set everything up by the table. Okay, so Rebecca and I are just gonna unload everything that we need. So we have a box here with our book with all the numbers, the tags. We're leaving Hayes and Oaks in the truck. They're gonna stay warm in here, but we can check on them really close. This stuff, and then we need the other box and stuff out of the back. Oh, it has green of a panel here. I don't know what's more. We need that box, and yes, could potentially need the. We need the box stuff. Yeah, because we use them sometimes to just scare them off, scare them back a little bit or whatever. We don't need that. Just the tag box and then the zapper and the hockey sticks. Okay, so we're just heading into the middle of the handling system. So I put a whole bunch of salt down here so that the bison don't slip coming out. We're just going to set everything up on this table here. These are the pleasures of living in northern Alberta, Canada. We are literally torching the ice to melt it so that all of our sliders work appropriately so that we don't have a bison coming up in the chute and are not able to open the head gates or something because that would just be a disaster. And then we're getting water out of there as well so that it doesn't just freeze up and ultimately turn into ice. You want to hold this? Hold this. Oh, this is just a smooth divider. Just keep it full shut. And then when they, after they're all gone, you can just let it go back. Now that you came out yet? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you lose it? Do you need another one? We gotta make sure now that they don't run back this way or else we've got a problem. Oh, they're coming back. Should we close that gate? Yeah. Close your slider, Rachel. Close it, close it, yeah.
Good job. Here they come. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Yep. Good. Close it up. Last one. Woo. Good job, guys. This man here is Neil Hochstein with the Alberta Bison Ranch and he helped us to build our bison herd because most of them originate from his Pure Plains herd. There she goes. Come on, Ruger, get out of there. You just let me know when you're ready, Neil. Yeah? Ready? Number three. So bring her up one. Rachel is a student from Lakeland College in Vermilion, Alberta, and she came out for the weekend to spend some time with Neil and learn more about bison, and we were super happy to have her help and teach her our ways of doing things on the backwoods ranch. Watch him check this out. <laughs> so today we're giving all of our animals a CCI tag number, which is for Canadian livestock um, tracking purposes, as well as a herd tag that just has the year that they were born and if they're a bull or a heifer, just so that we can easily identify our animals in our own fields. And then there are a few animals that are going to the show and sale in Camrose, Alberta, the local, um, like our yearly bison show and sale. So they'll be getting an additional tag. Yeah, Welcome good. to the Backwoods Buffalo Saloon. <laughs> Salon. 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 <laughs> Tagging bison calves is a lot different than tagging beef calves because usually when beef calves are born they are tagged right away as soon as they come out of the mama when they are small. Um, because bison are a wild animal we literally have to wait till that they are large enough to come through the chute on their own, usually separated from their mamas at this time, and then tag them. So they have a lot of power behind them at the time of tagging. Also another difference between beef and bison calves when tagging is the hair. Bison have a lot more hair. It is a lot thicker and a lot harder to go through. Oh, goodness. Just in case. I'm gonna try catching the tips. Yeah, maybe. There you go. <laughs> now I'm just gonna hold it so I can. calf came in backwards and some of them just won't turn around so we have to catch them by the hips and just try to get tags in them so that we can let them back out. Okay, 
use that to Here, Neil. And then I'll take the green one back over here and get it set for this side. Feisty. Feisty one. So because this one is in the shoe backwards, sometimes they will try to run out into the middle of the handling system where we have all of our stuff set up, which is kind of dangerous. So we have to get people up on the fence and people just kind of really being aware of their surroundings. And that's why we like to work in a small crew so that everyone knows what's going on because bison are just so much different than cows when you're handling them. You never know what might happen. I got this one pretty much all the way here, so. Nineteen oh five. This is my hand already, so this is one of the show ones, right? Yeah, <laughs> this is what we mean about them getting into the areas where we're working and it just so happened that I was actually on the fence this time when it turned back the wrong way so that was probably good. Open that, open that gate, yeah. So we're going to load them back onto the trailer and take them back to the house in the snow. So Chad's just walking around them now. Going to send them back this way. They're going to run back onto the trailer. Here they come. Two. Three, four. Is that it? Yeah, I was doing the bison. Did you did you wait Oakley for us? Did you take care of Hazer in the truck? Yeah. 
Awesome. Are we going home? Ooh, you're doing shadow puppets? Yeah. Are we going to go and eat some supper now? Some buys and stew? Yeah, me. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Are you now we're just waiting for Chad on the tractor to follow. And he is coming along. I don't know if you guys can see. It is snowing pretty bad. Oh, yes, there's the light. The light of the Chad. He's just closing the gate there. And we're going to wait on the road to close up these gates so he can get to the house a little bit quicker to help Neil unload. What do you like about Bison, Oakley? Um... Are they fast? Yeah. Are they fluffy? Yeah. Are they cute? Um, they're, they're fast. You like that they're fast? Yeah. <laughs> cool, hey? Yeah. Did you have a fun day? Yeah. As always, this is us. This is Backwoods. Thanks for following along with our journey.